No, I can hear you. Okay, fine. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, sir. As we are already uh, familiar, that today we were we just taught lecture number one, or uh, regarding chapter number three, uh, that's organization, culture. Organization culture, uh, somehow, you guys are employed somewhere. Uh, a little bit, I'm gonna ask a question because uh, as a pattern of our class, that I'm asking a question first, then you are moving to the next, uh, to our next slides. But before starting our lecture, so I would love to ask questions to engage my respectable students. Uh, you know, they share here. In order, to, in order to share your uh, valuable ideas. Now, the question that we have, I'm going to ask about that. That a little bit tell me about your anyone who can anyone actually me tell me about your the pattern of your organization, how your organization, you no, know, how you are communicating with each other, how the leader communicates with the employees, whether there is uh, any sort of uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, communication, if sort of communication pattern is available here, whether a leader, uh, you know, come down and communicate with the employees or not, and whether, so what sort of communication pattern is available here? So do you think, do you have some, some sort of uh, cooperative cultures should be here, like uh, your employees or employees working with each other, they are helping with each other, each other or somehow, there is a rules and regulations are very tough. Some organizations have rigid rules and regulations. Some organizations have flexible rules and regulations. So every organization is different from one another. So anyone who had uh, any of you guys, because all of you guys, all, all of you guys who joined some here, so let us share your, uh, regarding your organization. So when the, way, the moment you enter your organization, or when you enter, what are the policies, what are the procedures, uh, that your donations follow for your for your employees. Anyone? Ashma. Bahar Ahmad. Ashma. Asibullah, sir. My name is Asibullah. Yeah, yeah. Your name is Hashmat, Hashmatullah. Uh, no, sir. Hasibullah. 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 Oh, sorry for that. Okay, Hasibullah. Yeah. Uh, what's your organization? Yes. Sir, okay. Uh, whenever, whenever an organization want to having a good uh, culture, that organization and uh, employees, uh, uh, the, all the employees must have uh, close, friendly with each other. For example. And for example, one person wants to having a, a good uh, uh, idea, then others, then uh, the owner of that company must uh, to accept uh, friendly that idea of uh, that person. Uh, they, all the organization members must to uh, evaluate or must to research uh, the uh, weaknesses and uh, opportunities, where is the weakness and where is the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And uh, the organization must to have the uh, set uh, finance, uh, set the, uh, um, uh, financial reward and non-financial reward. For example, a person uh, uh, wants to uh, improve uh, their organization honestly. Uh, uh, honestly, the, that uh, owner of that company uh, should uh, uh, reward them. Their position uh, should uh, give uh, their position in in high, sir. It was my opinion. That's great. Uh, Farhad Ahmad, what do you think about your organization? Benjta? Benjta Nuri? Yes, sir. Benjta Nuri, have you worked somewhere? Sorry. Are you working somewhere or not? Yes, sir. So, could you please tell me about your uh, the daily routines of your organization? 
you mean, sir, what we are doing actually in Delhi? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing inside the organization? How your members of your colleagues are uh, helping with you or not, whether they are cooperative or not, or what sort of ideas you have regarding your organization? So I'm talking about your structure of organization. I'm talking about your culture of organization, the working behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, sir. Um, each and everybody are uh, working together mm -hmm. and helping each other, uh -huh. especially our executives and uh, our heads are uh, helping in um, tough uh, condition. Uh -huh. and, uh, we are, we are just like a friend in oh, yeah. a friend environment. Just like a, okay, you live, you live like a family, yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, so cooperative, members are very cooperative. What? Yeah, the colleagues are cooperative or not? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Okay, what sort of rules and regulations are there? Like, for example, if you come late, so where mm -hmm. you take the, you take your salary? Um, they are helping just in uh, 10 or uh, if, we, if we are coming uh, 10 or 15 net late, mm -hmm. so they, they help us, mm -hmm. but not more than that. But, but, uh, but we can just uh, put a leave, leave later. Okay, leave later. Uh, yes. Bajta, is there any uh, reward and punishment systems available here? A reward in mm. bonus or promotions or there? No, no. Uh, no sort of promotions, ban uh, any sort of um, incentive bonuses are given by your organization to employees. Whether they are giving any sort of bonuses, incentives, bonuses. promotion. Yes, there's promotion, sir. Promotions are based on what? Based on performance or based on the based person? Based on performance. Um, promotions are based off yes, performance, based off position. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, maybe sal salary is also included. A salary is on, yeah. So is there any, uh, we have doubt that there is a, the positions are giving on the basis of their family members or family relation or friendship base? Any sort of? Objections we have? No, sir. Okay, you don't have that. Yours, it means that everything is crisp and clear. <laughs> Muhammad Mustafa. Well, Esther. You came now? Balek. <laughs> Muhammad Mustafa. Mishna Mustafa, Sadai Chaini Meg, the camp. Okay, now say Ali Sayyid. Oh, stop. Muhammad Mustafa, the Pujo Kormikini? Kamidar Kormikini? Stop, my dad. The company Kormikonum Shahsis, Hotaraka. Mushkilis, Hotarak Moshe, your Buzan Posha, Mushkilis, among Manzurmo, Azur, how the culture of that organization is. Could you please explain? Teacher Asper, I said. The, in the previous class, our, the culture of our organization is, uh, or the environment is very friendly. While uh, someone is, we are hiring someone or, and uh, someone is joining as new, so we are behaving with that person very friendly. And the basic trainings which is needed for that person, so we are holding the trainings for them. Every day we are working with, with that person. Uh, we are just trying to make that person as level as we want. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I want to mention about the punishment and about the um, uh, bonuses which our organization are giving. Uh, mm -hmm. While you are coming one day, two days, three days um, late or uh, like this, you are doing some mistakes. So, at first they are just advising you, telling you that it's the wrong way. You have to uh, correct your uh, behavior. And if you don't want uh, to be in the form of our organization, which, see, which they need from you, so they are firing you. It's the only way that they, do, they know. And the bonus is this, while you are performing a good job and uh, continually you are doing a good job, so they are uh, giving you after six months, one month bonus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like salary, one month salary. 
Okay, one month salary in a bonus in a bonus shape. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mustafa John. Uh, yes. Could you please tell me about your decision making power of your leader? Whether they whether he make all the decisions or he put the no he allow other members to take a decision. Uh, our leader is uh, no. Lots of time he is not making the decision by himself. He he is just asking from the, his managers and uh, the supervisors which are there. So uh, at first he is asking after uh, taking their uh, opinions. After that he will take his decisions. It means that that your leader is a participative leadership style. Well. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because some of the leaders they are uh, they first take a decision. And later on, they ask from their members. First, he hold all the decision that he took the decision. Later on, he come to, to the to the ground in asking from other members. But that is autocratic leadership style. So I think your leader is not following this. Uh, it means that ultimately your employees are very satisfied, very happy with your leadership style. I'm sure. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mustafa John, thank you very much uh, Thanks. for your nice information. So anybody else uh, who come forward and asking another question? Uh, that is Farhad uh, Ahmed. Yes, sir. Farhad Ahmed, are you working somewhere? Hello, sir. I'm working. 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 i Bale. You are the leader of your organization, is it right? Yes, sir. Okay, the thing is that whether you work by yourself or you are working through your employees? No, sir. On, uh, I'm meeting with myself. Sir. By yourself? No, it means other members yes, are sir. with you or not? Yes, yeah, sir. On, uh, on, uh, member, on member, on member, on member, on کارمندای <laughs> The head of the master, the head of the decision, 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 بالا چون چون جای با با مو مفکوره خود با مو شوی خود جور کده ما مو قوانین و اصولات شه مربوط خودم میشه مثلا منظور تی است که کدام فکر سوچی که خود داری نمی نمی فهمی که دگه نفر سوچ داری یا نداره نه نه اون سوچ مرد ما و اون میبینم اما استاف و امپلایر سوچ میبینم اما میبینم که دیگه بازونموش که به نظرم خوب معلوم شد دنبال عملی میکنم که نشد و مسوچ خودم است و خودم است و خدا هم است. Okay, very good. Uh, whether you give value to your employees? Value. Yes. Value. ارزش میده چونه؟ فرار چون داد. Value. بله بله. بیتون ارزش خو. بله. The clinic raises she watches more than me, grimor in the big or equistak, but she shags and names and examine as well. Moet Havane Abuja, just I go to the Gord Gordor Matsa. Okay, uh, for other mat Abulas, the Gordome. For other mat Gordisham Kabula, the Togar Matsa, the Chan of a Mosh Balustor. Farad Ahmad, can you hear me? Bale. Okay. Bale. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, so, whether you give value to your employees or not? Respect. Ano ma employees ba mu value kido dem ba mu yisab ma negotiation kerem ta kine. Chun ma da jiriyon ekor 
او قدر بودیجه من نداشتم که به حساب و فامیلم دیگه به حساب اون کاروبار مرا سپورت نمیکرد چون قوانین فامیل هم است که در جریان درس باید تو کار نکنی دیگه باز هم بعض بعضی مشکلات و بعضی حساب مالی و گپا دیگه باز سالریشان میمون و چیزا اون هم مشکلات و هم حساب والیو دادنش دادن برشان بود لایک برادر لایک فامیلی دیگه به ما حساب نگاهشون کردید Okay, uh, مختلف مختلف وام دارین نی کسی یک قسم از کلچر می کسی به کلچر آمده آیا شما او قسم وار خود تریت نمی کنید نی؟ You cannot treat them according to your cultures نه نه استاد او مربوط خودشان می رسد ما امو چیزی که ازشان می خواهیم امو کاری که ازشان می خواهیم آنها با قضو کرده نه بالا نه پایین دیگه فقط امو چیزی که ما می خواهیم دونم داخل ارگنیزیشن هم اونو موش با ما باشه با دیگه کلچر و چیزا و مربوط من نمی شد Thank you for all that for your nice, nice information. Okay. I'm glad okay. to have you guys. Uh, anybody else who want to share regarding it, that's all her um, organization and how they work, how they behave, uh, whether their colleagues are cooperative or not. Okay, now, fine. Let's start our lecture, organization culture. Do we have organization culture? If you separate these two words, organization and culture, organization is a place where a group of people come together and they work together for the sake of to achieve a common objective of organization. Your culture, culture that shows how they behave, how they work, how they interact so that they achieve the organization objective. Now, the question will again arise, then who made organization culture? From whom the organization culture will be onward communicated to the members? If we look at, if we look at different organizations, if you look at around yourself, observe whether that is a institution, whether that is the hospital, whether that is the governmental private, everywhere. And every organization is different. It's not a similar. Now, the differences, what you see that, that is the perception of the leader. That is the perception of the leader who derive or bring out as perception to the, to the ground floor and communicating to your members. Now, organization culture, you might have observed that some organization having a rigid and tough roots, some organization having flexible and very uh, cooperative members of here. So, different organization, they perform in different a way of behaving with the with the employees, with the internal employees, and as well as external with the customers. See, different cultures are here within organization we have. You have found out, but all these cultures are they just the just because of the perception of the leader, because the leader, the founder of organization, the founder of, is the one who can communicate has ideas. You can communicate has perception and bring it to the reality. Now, you make all these things of how organization is, culture is made. Now, definitely, the leader is communicating. The leader is communicating with the rest of his members regarding has ideas, regarding has perceptions. Now, the rest of the members will try to bring his perception in reality. Now, as Move on to the 
introduction of organizing culture basically basically organizing culture is the a personality of organization look if i ask a question could you please define your personality if i ask a question of any individual could you please define your personality now you are stuck why because defining has or her personality it is very complex it is very difficult to define your personality unless and until the another person will define your personality they will get to know because another person he is the observer he observe you on the basis of the has observation he judge you he, he or she will tell regarding your personality similarly organization culture is a personality of any organization now if you want to go to any organization you will never know about that about that particular organization unless and until you enter and serve time here for example i'm telling you about go to the Itmalat. okay i'm asking you a question that do you know what sort of culture of Itmalat company or ariba or any other company so for the time being you will say sir we don't know about that because what because it's complex for you to identify any culture from outside unless and until you visit here you enter here you visit, you spend some time you observe the people then you will get to know about the culture of that organization that's why so culture is comp is comprised of the assumptions values norms and tangible signs of the organization members and their behavior now when you come about these three that organization culture there is a you can say assumptions values norms and tangible signs now see assumptions as i stated that organization culture is the assumption of a leader and who want to bring it who want to bring it into reality but first he will communicate to the members now the members now the members the members will make it the value of it after making a value and they believe that whatever the assumption of a leader is that must be 100% should be completed now whenever they start believing that what they draw a value for that that what they giving value to the leader assumption now after giving values to the leader's assumptions by rules and regulation by making rules and regulation they create a ball a wall of norms a wall of norms to the assumption of the leader that culture he want to bring it like for example being a leader i want to my employees to work cooperatively and the work should be on the basis of their as much as foster they can i believe being my being a, as a manager i believe that my members should work my employees should work to complete the task with the maximum with the minimum hours by exerting their maximum energy now when they exert their maximum energy so they will be receive a reward a reward in a term of bonus incentive and as well as promotions this is the culture that i have drawn that exert your energy and complete the task within an hour or within a timeline so you you will be rewarded in a term of bonus incentive and promotions now in here every person they kept working faster as their norms that if we deliver faster 
definitely we will reward it. We will be rewarded. Now, if you look at that, culture is one of those terms that are difficult to express distinctly, but everyone knows it when they sense it. Now, it's very difficult. Before joining any organization, you will, you know, you will not aware about the inner culture of that organization. Now, if I, if now I'm asking you according, according your, regarding your organization, that how your organization is working and behaving. So definitely, definitely you guys are expressing in very deeply. How did you know about that? You know by sensing. You sensed it. You spent time with the organization. That's why you know about that. If I, if I ask these questions regarding organization. They tell me about your organization. Now you said a lot of you gave me a lot of information. But if I ask the same question, a person who is unemployed, who is still searching for a job, so he will not aware of it because he didn't sense it. He doesn't. He didn't observe it. He didn't spend time somewhere. But he knows only one organization culture that is the family culture he doesn't he only know has family because your home is also some sort of organization it's also an organization he only knows about the inner family then he will not know the rest of the outside the family the world which where where the practical life the corporate culture he will, he will not know about that because of what because he didn't sense it he didn't spend time here because all those people were aware, those who have spent time and those who are already familiar regarding that organization where they have spent time. So as we said, organization culture, culture is a complex. It's very difficult to express. Unless and until you spend time there and you spend time there, after spending time, you observe because the most, you know, the most prominent learning is that is observation. Now, through your observation, you learn a lot of things. You learn many, many things through your sense, through your observation. Now, after observing, now you're explaining regarding the organization culture. So that's why organization culture is one of the, one of the complex phenomena. Explain that unless and until you spend time. Now, for example, for example, the culture of the lodge, look, the culture of the lodge, or for profit corporation is quite different than the hospital, which is quite different that of university. If you look at the corporate culture, it's completely different. If you look at the small organization, it's completely different. If you look at the culture of hospitality, hospital, go insert, go into the into the inside organization, inside the any hospital, you'll see completely different cultures. The moment you enter inside the university. Now in Afghanistan, we have many universities. Go and visit. See, you will, you will have, you will, be, you will be having different information from different organizations regarding their culture. Like for example, go to the Karna, go to Katip, go to Rana. See, comparison of these three Universities culture. The moment you enter, the moment you enter from bodyguards, from security guards, you will get to know the culture of the every organization. When you come to Dara University, when you enter and you face the security, security guards, you will see different culture. Go to another another university. The moment you enter and first you are meeting the because you will first meet the security guard. From security guards, you will draw a perception regarding that what sort of culture would be there. Now see, every university, every organization, whether it's large, whether it's a small organization, they have a different cultures. Now, you can tell, you can tell the culture of organization by looking. So how you can tell, how you can elaborate someone's culture of any organization by just looking the arrangement of furnitures, what they 
Big about. What members wear. Now look. The wearing. Your suits. Hanging cords. Some organizations. They are very taking serious this suits. One three piece suit. Some organizations they are not taking serious of it. Like look. If you if you are working in a if you are working in a Kabul, you will have to follow a different culture. If you are working in Jalalabad, you will have to follow a different culture. Look, I saw that I have met with a, with a many people. Those who are working in Jalalabad, they are wearing shalwar kameez, and those who are wearing those who are working in Kabul, so they are wearing pretty suits. No culture different. So organizations are operating according to the culture where they are. So see, the wearing style is also elaborating the culture of any organization. Now, there was a, uh, I met one of, one of my students, he was working, at the beginning he was working in with the Tulu and later on he went to the Lamar. Now, I asked him that what is the difference between Lamar and Tulu? He said to me that, sir, the difference is in the culture. Like when I was in a Tulu, so there was a very, uh, a loss of, uh, you know, rigid rules and regulation were there. And, uh, you know, wearing his, you know, wearing suits, they are taking much more uh, seriously if you didn't wear any suits, you will be, uh, you will be, you'll be called absent. Yeah, definitely, you will be not allowed in, to enter inside the premises. So they are taking everything very seriously. The regarding their inside the culture, whatever they're the wearing suits, or uh, every member should wear a suit. Every member should have a hangout, hang the cards, and no one is allowed to wear any casual suit. Ask about. As I asked, what about the lover? He said, it's sir, it's a, it's a similar Pashtun culture. Like uh, whether you wear shalwar kameez, whether you wear casual suits. So no one can tell you why you wear that. But only when you are, when you are, are presenting on a news, you have to be very, wear a very, a very you know, a casual suit. But Normally, you're not, no one can tell you that whatever you wear. So see the difference. Because Lamar, the honor of the Lamar is Pashtun. His perception was that he learns everything. He learned everything from that environment where he is, of, where he is operating. Like he is not taking care of the, that whether you wear suits or not. Because he's very, you know, he's very, you know, uh, friendly and very uh, cooperative, we can call, or very honest. He meant every person should work. I need their performance. So I don't have to focus on your clothing, as he perceived, the honor of that. But the honor of that, com that another company, that, that's Tulonius, but he's graduating from somebody else, he's taking care, much more the three piece suits, much more rules and regulation, and following the autocratic rules, the decisions is making by themselves only, not that not involving the rest of the members. Two different ideologies here. Now see, if you look at it here, similar to what you can use to get feelings about something personality. Unless and until, like if I, if I if I need to talk about human personality, so you will not you will never know unless and until you have to visit, you have to negotiate, you have to spend time with him or her. After spending time with him or her, you will get to know about someone's personality. So similarly, if you want to feel any anyone the personality so you have to involve yourself you have to mix 
spend time with them so that you get to know about the personality of that organization or any other organization. Now, if you look at the definition of organization culture, organization, the culture of organization is customary and traditionally way of thinking and doing things which share to greater and lesser degree by its members and which new members must learn and at least partially accept it 